Oh, man. We've all been in this situation, right? You're going like three, four miles an hour in a parking lot, or you're at a stoplight, you aren't paying attention, or the person behind you is not paying. Ah, I'll buff it out. No big deal. Have a great weekend. Sorry, dude. There's more going on under that bumper. It's not just paint damage. So I grabbed two AC condensers just so you could see what they look like. Maybe you know what they look like, maybe you don't. But what I wanted to show you is a brand new one. This is brand new, hasn't been installed yet. This one is used. We here at 1A Auto sell quite a bit of these at 1AAuto.com. And the reason being, they're in the front of the car so they can easily get damaged. So now that I've got this used one all by itself, you can truly see just how dirty it gets for one. You've seen these before in your car. They're in front of the radiator. Some people say, oh, I have two radiators. No. You don't, it's an AC condenser. So the AC Freon runs through this and it gets cooled down. That's why it's in the front of the car. The air flies through this and the bugs and it gets cooled down by the air outside. And they are so easy to bend, they're made of aluminum. I'm gonna show you just how easy it is. So I wanna show you just how easy it is to break these tubes. This is a fine little tubes that go from side to side, and it's a crossover so that the Freon can travel through. Now imagine you get in a little fender bender enough to push this, but the piece of metal inside your car is rubbing up against this as you go down the road, and look how easy that is. I just cut that and peeled that. That's just, if you had friction in there with a piece of metal from that front bumper, hitting that over time, your AC might be working right after that little bump but about six months later, or even two months later, no Freon, and you will never think that it had to do with that little fender bender. So we have this vehicle in the shop, and that's why I'm so excited to talk to you about this. We discovered many things about this car, came in for something completely different. But when it came in, I did notice it had one brand new headlight and one faded headlight, but it also came with a new bumper. And I'm looking at it, and I notice that this has got rust on it. Well, it couldn't have been hit over here, this vehicle was hit right here, hard enough to break this headlight and replace the bumper and grill, but not that headlight. That's what insurance companies do, not the adjusters as much. But underneath, these people didn't realize what happened because the AC at the time is working, and that's all the adjusters care about. So I got this all ready to come apart so I can give you a quick visual of what's going on here. This comes off, and that comes off, and there's our AC condenser exposed. So here's the AC condenser right here, and here's the bumper that got replaced. This pushes in, and down below here we have a bumper support. You can see right where the impact was hit, right here. It glides and smashes right into that AC condenser, which is aluminum, and I've showed you how delicate and easy it is to bend it. Look at this thing, this is like an ocean wave. This car, the Freon doesn't work anymore. Now it probably worked several days after this fender bender, or maybe it happened in the winter time, and this customer never turned the AC on until two or three months later when they wanted it. Didn't work, they didn't tie it in with accident, because why would they? They're not thinking that way. They're not automotive technicians. They're just thinking, yeah, insurance took care of it. But you have one year to open this up again in your insurance. Let them pay for it. Make sure it gets done correctly. Always make sure you look underneath to see the true story. So if you're looking at something like this and it's been years since the accident, or maybe you just bought a car like this, you think, man, I don't want to spend that much money on this car. You can do it yourself very easily going to 1aauto.com, that site. We sell thousands of applications for these condensers for cars or trucks and step-by-step -step for the videos. You just have to go to your local shop, get your AC recycled out, evacuated. Then you can do the repair, bring it back there, have them vacuum it and fill it up with AC and down the road you go. Hope you enjoyed that video. I know I enjoyed making it for you. You know the deal. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell because then it turns on all your notifications and you won't miss any future videos.